Yo, what is up everybody? If you're like me, you've been playing Genshin Impact. Now, everybody asks what is Genshin Impact, but nobody bothers to ask how is Genshin Impact. Anyway, I've been no-lifing this game. I've been really, really, really enjoying it. Now I'm around AR 34, 35-ish, I can't remember. There's nothing to do. There is stuff to do, but it's just like grindy, monotonous stuff. Um, and I really wanted to go back through the game again and experience all that stuff. Um, which is why I started re-rolling. Now, why is it important that you re-roll? Because you could start off with a better account, you could get better characters, and it's all for free. But, you have to do this now. Do this right now. Now, right now. Right now. Load up Genshin Impact and follow along with me. Right, Do this right now. Because, you most likely will not be able to do this method as of November 11th. So, I don't know what freaking day it is, but you have from now until, uh, the 18th. October 18th, right now. This is pre-patch 1.1. So the Kli banner should be up right now. So you definitely would be able to do this and roll for Kli instead of the Venti banner. Meaning, if you want Kli, you can do this right now for free as long as all of this still works. It worked for me last night. The Venti banner went away for me last night. So I'm assuming this still works. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to re-roll your account and potentially get better characters in about 25 to 30 minutes. Now, this video might be longer than that because of the intro and because of my commentary and because I messed it up. Shout out to Jin Jinx and Tuna, the Monster Hunter Math guys, for putting out this uh, speed re-roll. Re oh, <laughs> re-roll speed run video uh the link will be in the description below for that as well as huge shout outs to the other speed runners that are featured in the video that actually do the re-roll method now i am sorry i'm sorry i am not gonna you know get all sweaty and try hard and speed run this but i have done this multiple times i think i've done it at like five times already and i already have a very good account um, that I'm gonna start as my secondary uh, free-to-play account. So without further ado, let's go three two one Okay, so here you can see I am on my O3 account um, If you don't know how to log out, it's the button in the bottom right. This is my third reroll uh, Account right now. I've already done it uh, twice prior to now. So I'm going to log into my account that actually has the good, uh, the good characters that I wanted, uh, which is the, I believe the first time I rerolled. Um, I just kept going just so I can get into the habit of rerolling because Klee is now out. So I'm going to hop in and I'm going to show you the characters that I got from rerolling. Um, I believe like the first time, like literally the first time. So as you can see, I got Mona, I got Chongyun, and I got Fischl and Zhongling. So for me, I'm pretty much set. I love using Zhongling and Fischl. Never played with Chongyun or Mona, but now I have them. Um, and this is on my first reroll attempt. I also got Sacrificial Bow and a bunch of other weapons and stuff that doesn't really matter because there's going to be better gear later. So what I suggest you do is give rerolling a try. You have until November 11th to try rerolling. So, uh, definitely give it a try and I'm going to show you how. So I'm going to switch accounts, log out from your main account and then make your, you don't need a new email. All you need is a new username. So this is my third username. If you don't know how to register, um, you have to click the register now and then you register with a new username, create your password, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to log in straight off the bat. This is going to be a bit of a longer video because it's going to be the full reroll process. And I'm doing this commentary in post, by the way, in case you couldn't tell. So this cutscene, you cannot skip this cutscene until after you have named your character. So what you want to do is you want to wait until you have named your character and then you can Alt F4, which will bring you to the next unskippable cutscene, but you can skip uh, this portion after they ask you to name your character. So here, when you get to select a twin, name your character. Once you have named your character, I like to wait until the cutscene starts moving because I did it once and it just went back to the same cutscene in the beginning, which is annoying. If you're trying to go as fast as possible, wait till the cutscene starts moving, then Alt F4 out of the game and load it back up and you will be in the cutscene after this. Now we're back at the main menu, same account, just log straight back in. You'll be brought to the cutscene with the lady. 
The cutscene with the little crab in the beginning is the one that you have to wait to pick your name to skip. So now I have the cutscene with the lady drawing. And then basically all you have to do, uh, you could probably even speed up this video uh, at this point because you just follow this route. Um, there are some weird things that you have to do like um, the Amber skip and the Lisa skip which save you time from going through the dungeons. You can do the dungeons if you want to, but this is uh, meant to just speed up the entire process to get you to adventure rank 7, unlocking the ability to make wishes and then making those wishes and then spending the stardust appropriately to get more wishes and you'll see what i'm talking about when we get there so you basically follow this route um you don't really have to fight anything you don't really have to do anything except stay close to paimon now you unlock the teleporter because that gets you adventure rank exit out of these menus just mash um when you're going through all these dialogue options um, the top dialog option is the fastest option. Don't click the bottom. Just hover over the top dialog option and make sure that you're mashing that one out when you are mashing. Also, make sure to dash if you're trying to go as fast as possible. Uh, wait till your stamina refills and then dash again because it will be refilling in the animation of your dash. Now, one mistake that I do make in this run is I did not stay close enough to Paimon. I was getting a little too sweaty in trying to blast through this run um, just to get it over with because I'm going to be doing it multiple times and I only have a certain amount of time until like November 11th to get the God Roll team that I want. So make sure that when you're doing all this, you're not getting out too far ahead of Paimon because it'll ask you to teleport back. You have to listen to the dialogue all over again and all that stuff. So you're going to see me because this is when I first started. I think this is my first run. Um, I don't remember. It was either my first or second. So I'm still like looking around and unsure. Now I could probably do this without like going back and looking at a guide on how to do it. Um, so you'll see me like looking around and slowing down the process a little bit. Um, but overall, this is a, a pretty solid run, a pretty good example. So you get the chest. Um, you don't need the items inside. You just want the adventure rank. And here, I didn't go back to Paimon after getting the chest. And so now the game is going to force me to go back. Normally, yeah. So control F. Teleport back to Paimon. It's annoying. I know you have to stay with her. It's like an escort mission weird thing. So now we're back at Paimon. Blah, 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 blah. Make sure to click the top dialogue option. You can hover your mouse where I have it hovered during the dialogue uh, to make sure that you automatically click on the top option. So this time we're back with Paimon and you have to basically just freaking dash a couple times and make sure that she they whatever can catch up to you and that they're staying with you because you it won't prompt the uh dialogue when you get to the statue and you won't be able to progress with the run it is a fairly short run this video obviously is going to be longer number one because i'm i haven't gotten this down to a science yet uh, number two, I'm also providing commentary and all that stuff over it. So here you get to interact with the statue and this is where you get your abilities. Um, you can follow Jinjinx, the, the guide that they have on exactly what abilities and what uh, skills to use when uh, on certain battles. I don't because I don't really want to super duper speed run it. I want to do it. I want to do it fast, but I don't want to like, you know, I'm not trying to get a PB on Genshin Impact reroll. Um, so now we're adventure rank two. Um, some slimes pop up again. Click the top dialogue option. Slimes pop up. You can probably kill them with one charged E attack. Actually, I think if you hit them into the water, they die faster, but I can't be certain. So here I just kill the slimes and then the one little speed runny sort of tip is just pop your ult and then turn around and run because they're just going to die. So now you get more adventure rank and you get your Prima Gems. Um, a lot of the reason that you can do all of these rolls is because of the Prima Gems that you get from the events for starting a new account and everything like that before November 11th. Also, make sure to get this chest that's on the cliff after you leave the little island. So the Prima Gems are what are getting you all of these wishes as well as you get, you get like free Acquainted Fate and Intertwined Fate and you have to... Once you get all the stuff, you have to pull in a certain way in order to be able to get more wishes in an effective, like effectively after that. And I'll explain when we get to that point. But basically, you have to pull on the Noel banner like twice. 
So the order ends up being, I'll say this now because I don't remember if I fully explained uh, how we get so many wishes. Um, I think it's around 40, 40 summons. So four 10 pulls and then you have Stardust. Can't remember the exact amount, but um, as long as you just follow this route and do this, you will have enough Prima Gems and Acquainted Fate, Intertwined Fate, uh, enough free stuff to consistently do this over and over again and re-roll until you get the team that you want. Again, make sure you're clicking the top dialog option. So after the dragon leaves, go up on the little ledge thing and grab the red glowy thing. Uh, make sure to talk to Paimon, which I almost didn't do, which would be annoying because she makes you teleport back to her and then just mash through dialogue. I think the longest portion of this, uh, of these rerolls and look at that already adventure rank three. Um, make sure you get that chest. I almost forgot it. Um, I'd like to get a couple extra chests in this run. Number one, just because they're close and number two, because I want to be certain that I'm getting all of the Prima gems and acquainted fates and everything. You know, I just want to make sure I'm doing it right. And now we're going to see Amber hover over the top dialogue option, uh, just mash through. Like I was saying, a large portion of this is just like mashing through cutscenes and dialogue. When you get to the portion when you're running the dungeons, the dungeons really aren't even that difficult. And in some instances, you barely even do them. <laughs> so now we're forced to switch to Amber to be able to shoot the slimes out of the air. Grab the chest and there's going to be some more slimes over here to the left area. Um, I couldn't exactly remember what I was doing at this point in the run because I think this is either my first or second. Um, but the slimes over here by the tree, make sure that you just stay on Amber. Just stay Amber because you're going to need to charge attack these guys out of the air. Also, you need to grab this waypoint. So now that you've grabbed the chest, killed the hill of churls and all that stuff, you're going to run down and you are going to talk to Lynn. Um, if you don't already have the ingredients to cook what she wants you to cook, you go investigate the crate. And then there is, I believe, uh, some bird and like a chicken leg and a mushroom or something like that in there. So you walk over and investigate the barrel thing and then go and cook. Um, you don't have to cook it perfectly. You can just mash through, but I couldn't bring myself to not cook it perfectly just because it's so satisfying and cooking is one of my favorite things in this game. So you talk to Lynn, uh, that quest is finished and I believe you get some nice AR or either AR or Prima gems for this. So now we're AR four, we're almost done. Uh, you want to just rush over to Mondstadt. Um, I believe a bunch of cutscenes and dialogue are in store for us. Then you're going to need to do the gliding quest thingy. Now you're going to talk to Amber, mash through the dialogue, mash, 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 mash. Make sure you click the top dialogue option for all dialogue. Yes, 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 blah, blah, blah. Yes, yes, yes. So now you are going to uh, basically run through the middle of the city. Um, just go straight on the route right here. Um, there's this lady, lady in red right there. To the right of her is that waypoint you need to be able to pick up. Make sure you're monitoring your stamina levels as well so that you can climb. Because in the beginning, you don't have as much stamina as you have when you're like AR, you know, 34, whatever. And you tend to forget that and you want to spam jump and then you'll fall down and die. Um, but so just make sure that you're letting your stamina recharge before you climb all these things. Because uh, some of these are pretty high and you need to be able to climb to the top in one go especially if you're trying to speed through this uh, you need to be able to spam jump so that you can climb to the top effectively so here I'm just gonna let my stamina recharge all the way and then you want to just go straight up and amber will be right there if you go this way amber will be right there and it'll trigger the uh, cutscene for the gliding quest so now for the gliding quest, you basically just want to walk forward and jump off. Literally, I mean, <laughs> it's a cool mechanic in this game, but uh, this really isn't necessary. It's not hard. You're just pushing W. <laughs> so you fly over to Amber and I believe after this, you get a cutscene uh, with the dragon again. And then you have to do the little shooty shooty flight simulator thing. 
which is basically unfailable. Uh, it's a set piece. You just sort of keep your cursor, like literally just keep your cursor on the dragon and you'll be fine. I think eventually at some point in the game, you have to do it again and it's much harder because he shoots back. But in this portion, as long as you just keep your, your crosshair on the dragon and he's flashing, you're good to go. You, this part lasts like five seconds. This, this cutscene lasts longer than the actual fight. Just like that, you beat the dragon with your little pew pew energy blasts thing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is at this point. And it, like, according to the lore, I still, I still don't know. Uh, I have no idea. Maybe it will be addressed later in a quest. I don't know. So here you have more dialogue options. Again, just click the top dialogue option. This is when Kaya shows up. Then before there's going to be a quest that pops up that you do not want to do immediately. You are just going to grab a waypoint and two chests, and then you're going to go to the Knights of Favonius Guild. Okay. So after you're done talking to Kaya, you're going to run over here, make sure that your stamina is pretty good. Once you get over to this ledge up top here, there is a waypoint and a chest that we're going to need to grab that we're going to need to spam jump to get up to. So just don't do what I'm doing and you'll be fine. <gasps> oh man. Jump up to the ledge, grab the waypoint. There is a chest right down here that you're going to grab. You can grab the stuff inside or not at this point. Um, the gear really isn't going to be that great in either of these chests. So you don't really need to worry about it. Also, the guild is right down here. So once you get the second chest, just go straight down here and it'll trigger the AR5 and uh, quest advancement. So you enter into the Knights of Favonius temple, whatever it's called. Then you are going to be talking to Jean and Lisa, dialogue, dialogue, dialogue. Um, and then after that, you are immediately going to teleport outside of Mondstadt where the cooking lady is. Now that all of that is done, we have finally unlocked the ability to wish. We're not going to do it right now because you want to do it at the end when you have a bunch of materials. So you teleport to this waypoint by the cooking lady and then we are going to go to, I believe Amber's temple is first. So you can select Amber right now if you want or not. Um, over to the left where this blue light is, is where the temple is going to be. You can just fly straight over here. Make sure you land close to Amber. If you are one of those people who are very time conscious when it comes to re-rolling, select the top dialogue options at all times and then run into the temple. So here you can immediately switch to Amber and if you aim to your left and shoot at those vines, they're going to be gone before you get there because of the cutscene. So that's a little time saving measure. Next up, this little area to the side, you can actually jump over like the majority of the little temple right here on this ledge. Boom. You're done. You don't have to do anything. You go straight to the end. Um, you can try doing your ult or abilities or whatever, but basically you just want to kill these guys as fast as possible. Um, yeah, I... Never used Amber outside of this, so I don't really know what she does. Um, but I'm pretty sure there was a faster way to do all of that. It's just uh, I completely forgot what Amber does because I never use her. Um, so just make sure that you kill these guys and collect the chest. Um, when it comes to shooting those slimes earlier, I don't think I did it in this run. Um, you can or you can't. Um, it's up to you. You basically just want to be able to get to the proper AR at the proper time as fast as possible. So I do that by collecting a couple extra chests in case I forget something. The most important things are finishing the temple the right way um, and getting all the animoculus that you're going to grab later. So if I miss something or do something extra, um, just don't worry about it. Most likely, um, you know, there's multiple ways to do this. So yeah, this isn't the best method. This is a method, but I figured that I would make this video in order to be able to shed light on, um, you know, you need to be re-rolling. And so here's how I figured I would just do a step-by-step -step guide with commentary over it on the tips and tricks on how to re-roll in about 30-ish minutes.
spam through the dialogue, keep clicking the top option. You wanna make sure to grab the chest, then exit out. Now we are adventure rank six. Now we're gonna go immediately to the left and we're gonna shoot this chest on the hill uh, because it's going to be burning. Oh yeah, this is where, never mind the slime comment. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, the slimes are here. I thought I missed them, I did not. Do what I do in this run. Except for falling around and, and forgetting what I'm doing while I'm doing it. Just just follow this guide and you'll be fine. And you'll be able to re-roll much faster than me, probably. Because you'll actually know what you're doing. So you kill the slimes, grab the chest, very important. Grab the animoculus and then there's another one to the left. Over on the tree. Actually, there's a couple. So what you do here is you run to the Statue of the Seven, and these two Animoculus that you got, you're gonna offer them. You're gonna grab the one from the tree, and then there's another one coming up you're gonna grab, and then eventually we will come back, and that will be the sort of end of the run. So here you can just click Offer All once you've exited out of the map make sure to click worship statue please <laughs> okay boom we got the level up so this gust is where we're gonna be going next I believe there's a chest in between here and there exit out of here but a boom do not climb the statue <laughs> oh, this is so cringe so what we're gonna do is we're gonna climb the tree and there's an animoculus up in the tree You'll see it, you cannot miss it once you are up in the tree, trust me. You wanna make sure that, again, in the beginning, you don't have a lot of stamina. So you wanna make sure that you are managing your stamina at all times, because in the beginning, you can very quickly die without even realizing that you're about to be out of stamina. So straight to the left from over here, there's another Animoculus right here. And you do not, these little things on the ground, you do not have to collect all three and then make the updraft. You can actually just use, um, I didn't do it properly, but you can actually just shoot your E at one of them and it will immediately create an updraft. You can still get it by doing this. It's just faster if you walk up with your main character, hit it with E and then jump and it'll immediately, it'll immediately lift you into the air. Make sure you get hit by that pig. It's actually very important. <clears throat> because you're doing RNG manipulation with the damage. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. This was, I should have done this again, but I need to get this video out as fast as possible because this is time sensitive issue. So you don't have to kill any enemies. You don't have to kill the slimes. You don't have to do anything. Just jump up here, get this Animoculus. And then from here to the right is Lisa's temple. So we're gonna fly straight to Lisa. Make sure you land as close as you can to Lisa so that you don't have to run around looking for her to start the, uh, to start the mission. Talk to her, click the top dialogue options, blah, 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 and then you're gonna run into the temple. Now you want to use Lisa, number one, right now because she's the tallest character and there's a skip you're gonna do in here that involves uh, Lisa's height. So you go through the temple like normal, blah, 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 in the beginning and just stay as Lisa once you have access to her. You wanna collect, I think there's a total of two or three chests in here. So you're gonna run over to the left. There is a chest around the corner that you want to collect. You don't have to kill the boxes, just run over here, grab it and run back. Follow the updraft to the right around the corner. There will also be another chest. Go ahead and grab that one, boom. And now Lisa skip is basically, you jump into this updraft, aim at the corner, jump into the updraft as soon as the little air marks from your sprint come out. The reason this works is because Lisa is the tallest in the party. I think I failed it this time actually. I have to do it again, that's fine. It's not really that big of a deal. You just fall off and do it again. There's literally nothing is at stake. So here where you respawn, over by that corner right there. When the little air marks, poof, there you go. That's when you wanna jump. That was how you're supposed to do it. So just know you can do this over and over again until you get it. And it saves a lot of time because you don't have to do the dungeon at all. Over here, 
Um, you're also going to just jump beneath the platforms and then grab on to the last one at the end instead of trying to do the actual platforming uh, because there's a gust of wind that will bring you up to the last platform. So just hit start, jump over here to the gust of wind, and then you'll be sent up to this platform. Boom. You might get stuck like that and have to climb around, but that's not that big of a deal. Now you can just jump off. Literally just jump off. Because that door of resurrection right there will revive you up there. So as long as, as long as you see door of resurrection activated right there, you're good. Just drop. Then you pretty much just go finish the temple. There's no enemies or anything. You just kill this little thingy and you're done. Make sure to collect the chest. Every chest on this run or everything you do is vitally important to the your the AR and the Prima Gems that you're gonna need to do all of the pulls. So yeah, basically. So there's an animoculus over here to the left that you want to grab, and then you're gonna head right and there is a chest, I believe, at the bottom of the cliff. Make sure you get hit by the boar. It's very important for the RNG manipulation. Also, I switched to uh, main character who is shorter. Just stay as Lisa. It'll be much faster. She's much taller. So you head over here, over here, over here. And there's a chest right behind this tree. Bada boom, pick that up, get your AR, and then go around the corner and there's another chest here. Bada boom, pick that up, get the AR. And I believe at this point we teleport to the statue and offer the animunculus. I think, I mean, you could see me like thinking I'm like buffering. Yes, correct. So now we teleport to the statue offer all of the animoculus that we have, levels it up, and then we get adventure rank seven. Worship the statue, offer all, boom, adventure rank seven. So the reason it's important to do this um, is because of the amount of stardust and prima gems and AR that you get in this run. Um, so now what you want to do after all this is done, you go to the adventurers guild and you collect all of the rewards for leveling up your AR. Um, and for, I think five and six, you get Prima gems, I believe, and an acquainted fate. So as long as you follow this guide and don't fart around and do stupid things. So you can skip two, three, four has the Prima gems that we need and you'll see me skip uh, one, two, and three, and I'll just take those. I don't think there's any other things worthwhile in there. Yeah, no, not really. So those are the one you want, four and five, if you're doing the speed run thing. Otherwise, you could just like go through and click them all. So now we are completely done. So the way, the order that you want to wish is Noel first because she is discounted. But before you do that, I think I did this. Yeah, okay. So you wanna check your mail. Sorry, sorry. Check your mail, claim everything. You get Acquainted Fates and you get Prima Gems, 1600 Prima Gems and 10 Intertwined Fates and all that stuff. I was checking my menu like, what the heck? I did this right, right? Also, you get extra um, Prima Gems if you check your achievements, which a lot of people don't do, but uh, you know, whatever. So after you've claimed everything in the mail and you have all of the things that you get from the uh, like beginners sort of thing, that's when you can start making your wishes. So you wanna start with the Noel banner because it's at a discount, it's at eight. So you do your 10 pull of Noel. I don't remember what I got and it's probably not important because I'm not even gonna keep that account. Um, Cause in the other one I got Mona and I got Chongyun. Fischl, Zhongling. So we got Fischl. Okay, cool. And we got the guaranteed Noel. Boom. So that Stardust is actually important because we need it. 
So now we go to the Venti banner or the Rate Up banner, whatever is Rate Up that they give you these free uh, intertwined fates for, do that one. So you have your 10 pool for the Noel banner first because it's at a discount, and then your 10 pool for the uh, Rate Up banner. I actually got the stupid, I hate that sword. I hate that sword so much. Anyway. <clears throat> So now we have more Stardust. So now um, you can buy more or you can continue pulling from like the Prima Gems that you have. But really what you want to do is go back and wish on, I chose to do the rate up. I just bought a uh, 10 pull for the rate up. We still have 250 Prima Gems to use, and we have the Star Dust, Star Glitter, whatever it's called, to be able to uh, buy more Acquainted Fate and Intertwined Fate um, and do more pulls. So there we got Barbara. But yeah, this is basically it. This is the end. Um, this video is probably going to be longer than the amount of time that I said it takes to re-roll, uh, but this, we're, already, we're already here. We're at the wishing stage. Um, so anyway... Thanks for watching. If, if you found this helpful, uh, please leave a like on the video. I haven't uploaded videos in a long, long time, and it would really help me out. Please leave a like on this video. Comment down below what you got from this. Um, so basically, the order, the reason I went back to Noel is because you have enough to buy, uh, buy more um, Acquainted Fate in order to hit the discount on Noel. So it's Noel Rate Up Banner. Oh yeah, I got Chongyun. Look at that. I forgot about that. And another Barbara. So you do the Noel banner, which is the beginner banner. You do the rate up banner, and then you can buy more to do the rate up banner again. Go back and use your Stardust to buy enough to get the Noel banner again. Pull on the Noel banner again, and then use all the rest of your Stardust for like single pulls. And then that'll be the like entirety of the end. Anyway, that's the whole that's the whole reroll guide. The reason I made this is because once I found out that all this is going to go away at November 11th, I'm like, dude, I could be rerolling right now. Um, so I hope you guys got some good stuff. Let me know what you got. Please like this video and share it all over the place. Um, that's going to do it for me. You guys have been great. I have been the Danger Moss, and I will see you next time. Bye.